A Minnesota community is mourning the death of a high school student hit and killed by an SUV as she was leaving summer school. It happened around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon in Forest Lake. The state patrol says 18 year old Catherine Lohr was crossing Highway 97 near the school when a driver turning onto the road hit her. Lohr died. The 65 year old driver was not injured. A number of students witnessed the crash. It was terrible. I there was a white van that stopped and a girl was trying to help her. Her friend was on the side just panicking and like just crying. It just makes you realize how much time that you don't have with people that you really care about. Forest Lake Area Schools is offering counseling services to people who need it. Counselors will also be available today at Century Junior High. A former teacher and coach from Janesville is accused of secretly filming boys in the locker room. Investigation started after a Janesville Waldorf Pemberton player borrowed a pen from Coach Zachary Roberts' gym bag after game on December 14th. Well, that pen turned out to be a camera. And police found several videos of naked 14 and 15 year old boys going into and out of the shower. According to the criminal complaint, Roberts admitted buying the camera to record boys in the locker room. He also said he had done this 40 to 50 times in the past. Obviously, this is uh, something that's a little bit out of the norm, especially for a community our size. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that um, the police department has, has pretty much left no stern un stone unturned to try and determine what was going on here. Roberts is charged with eight felony counts of stalking and interfering with the privacy of a minor. A motorcyclist from St. Paul is dead after police tried to pull him over. An officer spotted 38-year-old Michael Hagman driving recklessly on Maryland Avenue East and Arkwright Street around 2 yesterday morning. When the officer tried to stop him, Hagman sped off. Officers found the motorcycle crashed on the side of the road about a half mile away. Hagman died at the scene. Charges have been filed against a Bemidji man after a five-year-old girl disappeared after a deadly fire. She was staying with a family friend the night that fire started. According to court documents, the woman found dead inside the home, had recently rekindled a relationship with 32-year-old Jacob Kinn. Investigators used his cell phone to track down a camper parked more than an hour away. That's where they found the girl. Court documents say her legs were taped together and she did not have any food or water. She told investigators Ken indicated he was not going to come back. Ken is currently on probation for child pornography charges. The deadly fire is still under investigation.